Hey everyone, this is Burr à la Bernays. Well, actually inside here is Burr à la Bernays, and that's just a fancy way of saying butter in the style of Bernays, um, which is just a fancy way of saying it's a compound butter that has all of the flavors of a Bernays sauce, um, and it's absolutely amazing on things like a grilled steak, uh, steak frites. This stuff is fantastic. Here's what you're gonna need. Shallot, white wine, vinegar, butter, tarragon, chevrel, parsley, salt, and pepper. So this is a super simple preparation. You first want to put your shallot in a saucier or a small saucepan with the wine and the vinegar. Toss in the chevrel and the tarragon. If you can find fresh tarragon and chevrel, use them. Um, I couldn't find them, I only have dried, so I'm putting them in with the wine, vinegar, and shallots just so that they uh, reconstitute and rehydrate. If you've got the fresh herbs, put them in at the end with the parsley. So now in that pan, you just wanna bring that up to temperature and have a light simmer. You don't wanna boil this, you don't wanna boil it hard. You just wanna light simmer until all of the moisture drives off. You've then infused those shallots with an incredible amount of flavor from the wine, the vinegar and those two herbs. Now, once all of the liquid is driven off, put it into a bowl and let it cool down to room temperature. Once it's cooled to room temperature, throw in your butter, which should also be at room temperature, uh, not too warm, not too cold. And then with a hand mixer, you just wanna mix all of that together, throw in a little salt and pepper and the parsley and give that a really good mixing, incorporate it all together until you've got a really nice looking butter paste. And then you just plop that on a piece of parchment paper and very carefully roll it up into a log. Um, as you can see, I'm not fantastic at it, but you know, you'll get the hang of it eventually. And then put that log in the fridge or the freezer, depending on when you want to use it, and it will uh, harden up. And then you just, uh, you just open it up and you cut a piece off and you put that on top of a steak that you have just grilled absolutely amazing. Um, if you really want to taste something flavorful, check out our steak frite recipe where we, uh, where we put this on top. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again soon.